This is a project that was originally uh, done by Stress Tech, and a customer had come to us with a part that was already designed, and they wanted to bond gauges to it. What this part is, is a two-axis joystick for use in uh, the medical industry for ultrasound studies. Uh, we took the job, and because it was a two-axis, we had eight individual gauges placed around the vertical column, which was actually a hollow. It was drilled out, so it was a thin wall tube. And we had built a number of these for the customer. This device was ended ended up being packaged in a housing like this, where you can see the joystick in the housing with a cover on it. There was a bar with a knurled knob that on the top for human interface. Supposedly, this was an overload stop to prevent damage. A couple problems we ran into was putting eight gauges around such a small diameter. It left very small solder tabs, which were very delicate and extremely hard to work with. And there was a lot of rework in the production gauging because of the tight quarters on this. The uh, real problem, though, as it turned out after we, we started building these, was the uh, overload stop in the housing uh, was not sufficient. This had so little deflection that the uh, never engaged the overload stop. And they would not last one week in the field before somebody leaned on them and essentially yielded and destroyed the joystick. So to solve both problems with the production gauging and the survivability in the field, Stress Tech redesigned the part. This is the Stress Tech design part, machined out of a solid piece of aluminum, the base. As you can see, we uh, left an X pattern in the base. Strain gauges were applied onto the bars of the X, one for X axis, one for Y axis. To get increased deflection so an overload stop would uh, be functional, we introduced a spring steel wire bonded into the, the housing here, the bottom section, up, went up inside the uh, actuator arm. So we had about a one inch length to uh, spring wire to give us proper deflection. When that was packaged, the final product looked like this, where we had enough deflection and tactile feedback to prevent overloading. Uh, not only did this withstand uh, usage by humans, but it would also gave a much more uh, usable feedback it was uh, the ergonomic effect of it was you could actually sign your name without any practice and it looks like your signature, which at the time this was done, that, that was virtually impossible to do with a mouse. So this was the final project, uh, final product that we ended up selling to the customer. It was very successful. It was, it was uh, less expensive to build, much more rugged in the field and provided better results.